All right, Frank, the politics of this. Folks in the Biden campaign are already starting to refer to Donald Trump as broke Don, which is interesting. And then there is the possibility that the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, would have to start or would start seizing assets, maybe even buildings. How do you think that would play? I want you to remember this moment. And don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. That aired live on CNN. The panel was stunned. Obviously, they haven't taken the time to look past the spectacle of all of this. Have you wondered what will happen if Letitia James gets her way and decides to seize Donald Trump's properties? I'm not sure that she or the nutty judge has thought this all the way through. Well, at least one prominent political poster is warning Letitia James that she's about to make a huge mistake. That was Frank once speaking, and he's hardly a Donald Trump supporter. But even he can see the absurdity of what these nuts are trying to do. And he can see the political danger of this nonsense. Let's take an in-depth look at what he said and react to it. The politics of this. Folks in the Biden campaign are already starting to refer to Donald Trump as broke Don, which is interesting. And I wish I was as broke as Donald Trump. I'm betting you probably wish you were as broke as Donald Trump. And then there is the possibility that the New York Attorney General Letitia James would have to start or would start seizing assets, maybe even buildings. How do you think that would play? I want you to remember this moment and don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. If they take his stuff, he's going to say that this is proof that the federal government and the establishment and the swamp in Washington and all the politicians across the country and the attorneys generals and all of this, that this is a conspiracy to deny him the presidency. It's not just the biggest victimhood of 2024. This might be the biggest choreographed attack on any individual American in history, not just 2024. In history, nobody has, ha has had to endure this kind of complete nuttery. He's going to go up in the polls just like he went up every single time they indicted him. The indictment, um, let's not talk about whether it's justified or not, but it will prove the things that he's saying on the campaign trail, and he will go up, and it may just elect him president. Do not forget that. And I say this to the attorney general right now. If you play politics on this, this is what the secretaries of state did in Colorado and what they mm -hmm. did in, I believe, is Maine. And it, just to refresh your, your memory on this, in Colorado and Maine, they tried to remove Trump from the ballot box completely. And the Supreme Court slapped him down 9-0, says, no, you can't do that. His numbers went up in both states. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I'm almost speechless in how pathetic the opposition to Trump has been and how completely misguided. And this is a perfect example of it. What do you think? It's, it, it's been a perfect example of it. They have such tunnel vision. They know fully well that Dementia Joe can't stand toe to toe with Donald Trump. So they're doing everything they possibly can to kneecap Donald Trump before, you know, the election season really gets even rolling. Think about that. I mean, my biggest question, this is the beauty of Frank having his job, which I don't have, um, is that happened, well, you're talking about Maine, Colorado, where you're talking about what happened in a primary. And while I don't disagree with the optics, I've spoken to people inside Trump world who are saying, instead of bankruptcy, we sit in the peace. Come to Trump Tower, please. Bring we'll it. have cameras there. We'll have that fight. We'll win that optics battle. I think the bigger question is, in a general election, and given the fact that the Biden campaign has really latched on to this in a way that they haven't in most legal issues. Broke dumb. I was right. a bit surprised to hear he, he was joking about it last night at a fundraiser as well that was off camera, whether or not that rise in the polls can carry into a general election. And you'd know better than, I mean, you're talking to people, you'd know better. Yeah. How is that? Absolutely it will. Don't even think for an instant that it won't. We've already seen the rise in polls through all the indictments, all the bad negative press, and he still keeps getting stronger. Donald Trump beating Joe Biden. He's got 85 indictments that still exist. Felonies. How is he beating Joe Biden with the economy getting better and- th The economy's getting better? 
didn't even try to fact check that. It's not getting better. Things cleaning up. Okay, we got um, it's still have inflation. You still have got immigration. Trump is leading. And in the seven swing states, Trump is up by the margin of error in five out of seven. Why is that happening? Because his critics are stupid and they're running a horrible campaign. And for those people who do not want Joe, uh, Donald Trump back, they should be thankful that the people who are orchestrating his loss are as pathetic and they don't understand the American people. Quick last one. They don't understand the American people. Completely oblivious. I personally don't think they even care what the American people think. Seizing Donald Trump's properties will absolutely backfire. And by doing so, as Frank Lund said, you're going to reelect Donald Trump. <laughs> That's huge. What a statement. But I believe he's right. Those of us who support Donald Trump will absolutely swamp and overwhelm the polls because we understand this guy coming back to the White House is what we need as Americans to retake America. And if Letitia James actually tries, if she moves forward to seize Donald Trump's properties, she's not going to like what happens next. And I don't mean from a violent perspective. Like Frank once said, this is going to backfire immensely on the lib nuts. I believe that Trump will build an insurmountable lead in the polls, the polls that actually matter. Clear-minded Americans who aren't frothing at the mouth can obviously see that this man is being attacked like no other candidate ever in the history of the United States. Just picture this, just imagine that Letitia James gets out of her limo with a swarm of New York State Police trying to go in and seize Trump Tower. And you know that spectacle will be broadcast live on every single network for weeks and months to come. And you also know that on every single mainstream media outlet, the Libnuts will be gleefully celebrating the seizure of Donald Trump's properties. But what they aren't counting on and what they won't see are the millions of people, the millions of Americans who will be seething at home, completely pissed at what they're seeing on television. And they won't forget it in November. Once is right. Going ahead and trying to seize Donald Trump's properties will get him elected in November. Not that he even needs that, but it, the groundswell will get him elected in November. And Frank Luntz, who isn't a Donald Trump supporter, who talks to people and does polls as part of his daily business, I think he understands that most Americans do not like the banana republic we are turning into. Americans don't want to see an opposing political party imprisoning and seizing the assets of their opponent, especially on charges that have a dubious interpretation of the law. That's actually French for bullshit. All of us can see that these charges are bullshit. It's just amazing that so many people don't care as long as it's Donald Trump. If the legal system can be weaponized against the leading opposition candidate for the presidency of the United States, you and I don't stand a chance. What's funny is that even CNN inherently knows this is a crock. Remember, you have this loony judge up in New York who thinks that Mar-a-Lago down here in South Florida on Palm Beach is only worth $18 million. But if you ask anyone who's actually in the real estate business, they'll tell you the value could be as high as $1.5 billion. Trust me, I've been involved in South Florida real estate for nearly 25 years. There are vacant lots being sold in Palm Beach. Vacant lots for $18 million plus. So in essence, they're downplaying Mar-a-Lago's value by a thousand percent. But you don't have to believe that for me. Here's a recent clip that aired on CNN. But the property that you alluded to, Mar-a-Lago, uh, potentially that could be something that could be sold quickly I think the valuation is something in the hundreds of millions and I think there could be a buyer for something like that and that would be literally if you're talking about doing that between now and Monday that's picking up the phone calling someone and then literally writing a check yeah I mean there could be plenty of international people who want to buy that property I mean there's properties that are priced at 150 and 200 million that are nearby that and Palm Beach is like the NVIDIA NVIDIA, excuse me, yeah. of real estate. It's just shot up like a rocket. It's unreal. 
Let me get this straight. The property that Trump somehow used to commit bank fraud that the judge says is only worth $18 million can be sold at a fire sale for $240 million. Think about what they just said on national television. If valuing Mar-a-Lago at $18 million, according to the loony judge, what does that mean if Letitia James intends on seizing it and then selling it for $240 million? Is that not fraud as well because it's only supposed to be worth 18 million so how can you seize it and sell it for 240 million make it make sense it doesn't make any sense to anyone down here anyone involved in real estate you're taking a billion dollar property and trying to say it was fraud and that you think it's only worth 18 million dollars but because of all this businesses are beginning to flee new york numerous businesses have ended plans to relocate into new york because of the fabricated witch hunt against me they see what is going on and want no part of it choice right now is shark tank investor and chair of o'leary ventures Kevin O'Leary joining us from South Florida. Kevin, good morning to you. Thank you so much. You know, we've been talking about fairness and due process and stuff like that. The average person doesn't understand the trial that he went through where he was found liable for half a billion dollars because people don't understand valuations and stuff like that. Do you Not just that they don't understand valuations, it's that the court really never went into the valuations. They just, he, the judge personally assigned a value of 18 million. He didn't take any appraisals, didn't take any advice, just said, you know what, let me throw a dart at the wall and call this an $18 million property. With banks, how do you explain it to people? What happened? So I tell people this is no longer anything to do with Donald Trump whatsoever. Uh, and you have to believe that this is nothing to do with Donald Trump. If they do this, if they set this precedent, they can use it against anybody. This is very concerning to what you think of the, as the American brand. The reason we're the number one economy on earth is we provide stability in financial markets through transparency, appellate systems in court, guarantee of law, property rights. And here is a, a situation which is getting focus all around the world of a particular case, does not matter that it's Donald Trump, where an individual has had against an infraction an unduly high penalty. Many people feel that a on a bipartisan basis, probably infringed on the Eighth Amendment, has not been tested yet. Mm -hmm. and, and that will be tested. Because they went with an over an overzealous fine, I'm pretty sure this is going to get tested in the Supreme Court based upon the Eighth Amendment. That is where the problem lies. Most of us that are investors in financial services want the process to continue and get an appellate court involved here for a second set of eyes. The right. way I view this and the way it's viewed internationally is mm -hmm. this was like dress up court with kids running some kind of a Halloween party with no adult supervision we need the adults now right. we need the adults to look at this it's basically a kangaroo court it was just the judge declared him not guilty but liable whatever the term he used and just arbitrarily picked a number out of the sky because he had already seen his financial statement and said here's a way for us to drain his bank account here's a way for us to kneecap donald trump and prevent him from running further against dementia joe but it's not going to work because as recently as yesterday the sec approved a public filing for Trump to bring Trump social as an IPO, meaning he's going to raise about three or four billion dollars just because of his shares. So he beat them again. Now it's just a matter of time. Or are they going to be able to get all these things done within the next 24, 48 hours? So it's going to be really interesting to see what Letitia James does, what the Supreme Court does, what the New York Appellate Court does in the next 48 to 72 hours. In any event, this is still nuts. This travesty has to end. All of it. It's obvious at this point that they know Dementia Joe can't compete with Donald Trump. So they have stooped so low to go after Trump with everything they possibly can throw at him. But Trump has stood tall and absorbed every single body shot. And most Americans applaud that. They may not realize it, but they're turning Donald Trump into a folk hero. They really thought that he was going to give up and give in, but he has. And unfortunately for them, we haven't either. America wants a fighter. Sane Americans can understand what's going on here. Let's see if Letitia James is really as stupid as she looks. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about their attempt 
to seize Donald Trump's properties. I'll talk to you soon. This is going to be really interesting.